I'm Diasha. This teacher guide is about our Mindset Learn series of lessons on magnetism. In this guide, we tell you what the series of lessons is about and how it links to the curriculum. We also discuss ideas for using the lessons with your learners. You may want to make notes, so have pencil and paper ready. There are four lessons in this series in which we unravel the mysteries of magnetism. We trace the origins of magnetism back to ancient Greece where Magnus discovered that certain rocks attracted bits of iron. We show how different people have used the strange property of matter and how scientists have tried to explain it. In our final lesson, we examine how magnetism affects the environment. This series of lessons is linked to the theme of magnetism within the core knowledge strand of electricity and magnetism. In this series, we have used different contexts to illustrate how magnetism is part of our everyday life. We have addressed assessment standards related to all three learning outcomes in this series. Learning outcomes and assessment standards for each lesson are stated at the beginning of each video lesson in the series. In addition, lesson outcomes linked to these are also given for each lesson. In this series, we follow a carefully sequenced journey of discovery. We show how magnetism was discovered, used and finally explained using different scientific models. We have chosen to do a variety of different practical investigations in the series too. In these investigations, we discover the properties of magnets and magnetic materials. To explain these properties, we use scientific models. At the micro level, we have the model of magnetic domains, and at the macro, the model of a magnetic force field. These models are carefully illustrated and linked to the practical investigations done in the laboratory. We have applied these models to explain why a compass works and carefully examined the nature and effect of the Earth's magnetic field. The success of these video lessons depends on the way you use them in your classroom. We suggest that you watch the lessons yourself as part of your planning. To get the full benefit of the lessons, your learners need to engage actively with the concepts presented. So, when you preview the videos, think about how to introduce each lesson and what follow-up activities will be useful. Also, watch out for places in the video where you could pause to have a class discussion or ask learners to complete an activity or solve a problem posed in the video. We have used this pause icon to suggest some of these places to you. As you watch each lesson, make a note of materials and other resources you might need to bring to the class. For example, if you want your learners to make their own water compasses, you will need some magnets, steel pins, containers for holding water and polystyrene or cork. Assessment is an important part of teaching and learning and the lessons provide opportunities for a range of different types of assessment. When you pause the video for learners to do an activity, you can assess their understanding of key ideas in the video and adjust your lesson plan if necessary. The task provided at the end of each lesson is always linked to at least one of the lesson outcomes and thus provides you with a useful assessment opportunity. In lesson one, we show that magnets and magnetic materials are found in many unexpected places in fridges, in loudspeakers, video recorders, and even vending machines. We then look back to the discovery of magnetism and show how this has been used to make a compass. Your learners will enjoy making their own water compasses as part of this lesson. In lesson two, we show the link between the macroscopic property of magnetism and the microscopic model of magnetic domains. We also carry out an investigation to see if it is possible to separate the poles of a magnet. 
we suggest that you pause the video when you see the pause icons so that your learners can be engaged in this investigation. The focus of lesson three is to show that a magnet can influence a region of space around itself. To explain this, we introduce the idea of a magnetic force field. We use compasses to show the direction of the magnetic field and draw a diagram to show these field lines. We investigate the strength of the magnetic field by making a chain of paper clips starting at different points of a magnet. This shows that the magnetic field is strongest at the poles and is weaker in the middle of the magnet. In our final lesson, we answer the question of why a free moving compass always points in the same direction. We show how the Earth has been compared to a bar magnet. However, the Earth's magnetic field is slightly different. We establish the direction of this magnetic field and then look at its shape and its role in supporting life on Earth. The task for this lesson requires learners to write a report on how the Earth's magnetic field has impacted life on Earth. We suggest that you give learners this task to do before they watch the video so that they can make careful notes while watching. They will also need to do more research before handing in their reports. There is a set of lesson notes for this video series on our website. These notes give a summary of the key points of each lesson and the tasks and suggested task answers. More detailed teacher support for this series, including additional ideas for assessing your learners' progress toward the assessment standards, is also available on the website. We hope this teacher guide has given you a useful overview to the series and will help you to use the mindset resources when introducing the theme of magnetism. Look out for the series on electrostatics that follows on from the series. Goodbye. Yeah.